Welcome to Poisonous Plants 1 to 1, a story about poisonous plants told in 121 seconds. There are two flowering shrubs known as oleander. One is Nerium oleander and the other is Thevetia peruviana, often called yellow oleander. I'm not sure why both plants are oleander. There is some similarity between the leaves, but the flowers and the seed capsules are very different. The best known story about Nerium oleander is that deaths have occurred from using the wood as skewers for cooking meat. These days it is usually a group of Boy Scouts, but the story is found in the 19th century and is alleged to have happened to various people, including British troops in the Peninsular War. There is no definitive account that can be construed as evidence that this actually happened and there has been research that showed insufficient transfer of the toxins in the way described. Thevetia peruviana is sometimes called the suicide tree because it is said to be a common method of committing suicide in countries where it is prolific. Talking about how to commit suicide is morally troubling. One does not want to appear to be offering help, but with the yellow oleander it turns out that the success rate is exceedingly low. One study suggested that only 0.5% of cases result in death, and there is a widespread consensus that it is well under 10%. Yes, you can find incidents where people have died after deliberate ingestion, but there are many, many more who recover after suffering very unpleasant symptoms. Severe diarrhoea, abdominal pain and intense vomiting are the most common outcomes. For a lot more information on poisonous plants, please visit www.thepoisongarden.co.uk.